Hello and welcome to the last part of the Wagonian's Gambit in the Trompovsky attack after d4, knight f6, bishop g5. So I would like today to make a few, a, to explain you more ideas and to show you the recent games which were played in this line after c5, d5, queen b6 and knight c3, the famous Wagonian's Gambit in the Trompovsky line. So, uh, in 2004, uh, it was played not only the game between Nakamura and Newborn, but also Newborn tried to play this once again against Bruzen in the Chorus Weekend tournament. And here, after knight c3, so black is playing queen takes b2, bishop d2, queen b6, so all this already well known, we analyzed it for two lectures already, the same line, so now white is playing in the center e4 and e5, so today according to the theory this move is necessary, otherwise white just simply plays f4 and followed by e5 with a crucial attack in the center. F4. So white, of course, would like to attack black's position, force to play d6, knight f3, and knight bd7. So I could tell you that this is probably one of the most critical position of the variation, when black is not giving white the opportunity to attack the center, and we were studying a the outcomes of the e5 move already last time and this game between Bruzen and Ebor one of the key games in this line shows of course also white's opportunity also black's counter play f takes e5 so white immediately tries to open up a position on the king side to open the file a f of course and later on to use his better development for creating the attack on the king's side now black has an interesting choice first of all d takes e5 the move which a consider as the main line however a knight takes e5 some players recommend because black is having less space and also material advantage so maybe it's a good idea to exchange some pieces. However, after knight takes e5, d takes e5, rook b1, queen d8, and bishop c4, white still keeps quite unpleasant initiative on the king's side. So next move should short cast and then bishop comes to g5. So black is having extra pawn on b7, however how to use it. So before playing for a, I would say for counter attack, so black has to stop a lot of white's uh, active options to create the strong pressure on the king side. For for instance, after bishop d6, for let's say short castling, short castling, white immediately could play bishop g5, and this almost forced black to play bishop e7. Then in some moment, white can even threat to play d6. Let's say after queen f3 a move like knight g4 could be made by simply bishop takes e7 queen takes d e7 and now at some point we can push d5 d6 so create the serious threats against the black spawn on f7 for instance white can play rook to d1 and now how to stop d6 queen d6 doesn't help much after knight b5 and later on d6 is coming and white's pass pawn is extremely dangerous so material here doesn't matter much so white's pieces are dominating on the board in the original game black decided to recapture with a pawn and 